Hello everyone! Today I am back with another K-pop workout and today's workout is inspired by La Seraphim's Kaza and her amazing abs. Here are the movements. We're going to be doing 20 reps of each movement. The first move we are going to do is the reverse crunch. You want to go ahead and place your hand under your hips for a little bit of cushion and we're going to lift our legs up with our lower abs. The leg drop is optional and for an easier version you can opt to do a smaller range of motion. Alright 20 reps, let's do it! We're down to our final five. Keep lifting with the core. You got this. All right, great job. The next move we're gonna do are scissor kicks. There are two options for how you can support yourself. You can either go on your elbows or support your lower back with a soft ball or pillow. For the scissor kicks, you're going to wanna keep your legs pointed and nice and long, and you're going to slowly do the scissoring motion. Remember to keep the neck nice and long and don't forget to breathe. You got this, let's go. All right, we're down to our final few. You can do this. Great job. The next move we're going to do is a Pilates move called the single leg stretch. You're going to hug your leg. And again, you have two options. You can either use a pillow for support or lay flat on your back. Make sure your lower ab doesn't create a loaf and draw your core in with your deep core. Alright, awesome job. This move I didn't see in Kazuha's video, but I added it in for a little twist. So for the Russian twist, the key is to control the twist. We're not opting for speed, but rather really controlling it and using our obliques to twist our body. For intermediates, you can opt to lift your legs. You can also opt to hold a dumbbell or a Pilates ball if you want something for a visual cue. And if you're very advanced, you can do it with straight legs lifted. Alright, let's do this. Down to the final few. You got this. Don't give up. Great job. All right, the next form of twist we are going to do is the plank twist. For this movement, the key is drawing in your core, making sure it does not sag. Make sure you're keeping a regular breathing pattern. Your breath is going to be what's activating the core muscles. few twists and you're done great job all right we're down to our final movement this is the side plank crunch and for this movement you can do it in a full side plank however this can cause a little bit of discomfort in your knee joint so i like to bend my knee and you still get the same effect you want to make sure that when you crunch in you're not letting your body sink down onto your mat use your obliques to keep yourself nice and lifted if we're not quite there yet with the side plank strength you can go ahead and do this laying down alternative All right, final movement, let's go.
You're doing great. We're almost done with this side. Keep going. Great job. Let's go ahead and switch over to the other side. Remember to keep breathing and drawing in with that deep core. Job. we are done with the workout let's do a little bit of cool down together let's first rest in child's pose and now we're going to extend our abs in Cobra come back down and we're gonna go back up again if your flexibility allows go ahead and bring your hands towards your chest for a deeper Cobra stretch if your flexibility is not here yet go ahead and extend your hand a little bit further in front of you all right last few breaths and we'll come down let's stretch our sides we're gonna go ahead and extend one leg up and over and we're going to make sure that our chest is nice and lifted and open to the sky again the key here is not extending far over but it's to open our chest up all right last breath let's come back up and do it again on the other side Final stretch, we're going to go ahead and cross our legs, lift our hands up and over, and we're going to hinge from our hips. Extend as far as we can and let our body sink into the floor. Last few breaths, and we're gonna slowly roll back up, inching our way up. And let's clasp our hand behind our backs and look up for a nice final stretch. Great job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you have any other requests, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.